Hey guys, my name is Freedom. Today I'm going to show you how to create a realistic terrains for your Icron 8 just by using the Blender with zero cost, no additional plugin require, no paid plugin require. Everything is just using the Blender. And then finally, you can have you can create this type of realistic terrain for your Icron 8 and, and really make it become an icon terrain like this then all of your 3d avatar can walk on the terrains that follow the collisions with and interact with the terrain so start from now i'm going to show you step by step all right first you can just go to my video description get the terrain material pack cc0 cc0 means it is copyright free all right I have this terrain material pack CC0 and then you can just go and download it. These are textures. Texture like this. Terrain material pack CC0. Now all of these are textures. And then with all of these textures, you can just use a blender to create the terrain and I'm going to show you step by step. Alright, first I'm going to open my Blender. Blender is a really free software that you can download, you can use it. It is a 3D software, but it is more on modeling for these tutorials. That I'm going to use the Blender to create a tutorial, to create a realistic terrain here. So now just wait for a while. And as demo, I'm going to clear my icon 8. Just start a new project here to make it everything empty. And now you, you can look at my icons. Control G is to turn on the grid, and each of the grid is 1 meter times 1 meter. At the same time, in Blender, it is 1 meter times 1 meter as well. It is totally the same as the icon. So at the beginning, I'm going to press A to just delete everything. Then click Add a Mesh at a Plane. Right, click it, go to the Edit Mode, then click the Surface. Click here to make sure you can choose the Surface and press S to make it bigger to fulfill your need. How big you want this terrain to be, always remember this grid is totally same as icon it's one meter times one meter so now i just press s to make it bigger like this next right click it to subdivide it subdivide until you feel satisfied let's say i put 20 and have a look 20 if i put 50 if i put 80 I put it 100. So now with enough resolution, then you can, you can scub it better. Now, with enough resolution, next, I'm going to back to the object mode at, at here. The next step, click here to turn on the texture. Then, go to here to add a new texture. Under the base color, you click here. Choose the image texture and create a new image texture. Then the color, I'm going to put it white color. Then I click OK. So now with texture ready, next, just go to the texture pane. Now, but before that, just go to the sculpting. You sculpt the shape first. I always use this. And then you can change the radius and for this time it is to you choose add it is going to pull it out you can sculpt the terrain like this all right Control z is to undo all right 
here you can choose the radius you can make it make it smaller and then if you choose subtract it is going to push it down let's say now I want to have a river here or a lake at here now this is to push it down then this can be a mountain at the same time I may just add some of the right control Z I'm going to add add some gradients at here to, to make it look like a terrain this can be a mountain can be a hill then I make it small here I may want to just make make it subtract to create some river over here all right once done already just go to the texture pane at this moment you can paint it but of course we are not going to use this type of the color we have to, to come to here and just add new open open from my desktop open the terrain material pack cc0 and by default it is just a list I'm going to turn on the thumbnail and first I'm going to just paint some of the grasses like this I choose this then I can paint it like here for this area And then here, this is a muddy river and bottom of the lake. I may just choose and change it to some muds. I search for muds. Ground muds, desert muds. So I choose this ground mud open. Wait. Not this. I open. mud then I just paint at, at the bottom so at this part I may just want to add some sand I search for sand desert sand, island sand so I may choose the island sand if it's up to you, you can create anything not yet open sand if you want to change the brush size, you can just come back to here adjust the size this is to make it small you can make the size to bigger of course this time you don't need it to be too big I just pin the sand over here Right, the rest I can just put some grasses. Just open it here again. Just open. I want to have some grass groundy here. You can see now two types of the grasses. So for the big area, I may just want to make the radius bigger. Have it like this to make it faster.
and I may want this mountain, this hill to, to have a little bit rocky. So I back to here, I choose some of the texture that have the rocky effect. For example, the mountain, this younger stone. Right, I choose this, then change the brush size make it bigger for this part you can just paint it to make it realistic just use your feeling this is a rocky mountain, something like this. All right. Once you feel satisfied already, you can just back to the layout here. And now you can see this is the terrain. If you feel not satisfied again, just back to the texture pane and just pin it again. Let's say here. At the same time, you also can just go and sculpt again. Just go to the sculpting and turn on the texture here. You can sculpt again. This is to add with radius can scrub it to make it bigger, to make it higher, to make it taller. For this part. Alright, once you feel okay ready, just back to the layout here and then check the texture. Go to the UV editing export this texture just click UV sorry click image save then save on the desktop name this as texture 02 save the image then you check the image this is exactly you created just now next Go to the layout and export as FBX. Go to the layout, click File, Export, FBX. And as demo, I'm going to export it on the desktop. Here, choose Copy and turn this on. Name this as Terrain02. Click Export. Now this is the FBX. Now you can import this FBX to your iClone. This is the iClone 8. Just drag and drop into your iClone. Then it is exactly the same scales in Blender just now. And you can just make it a terrain. Just right click it. Make sure you double click and select it and right click it convert to terrain at this moment you have to wait for a while and now it, it already become a terrain so now we try an avatar we try a character and I want to try the motion director to make this avatar work on the terrain so now you can see some of the reflection, you may just try to adjust it. Wait. Just now, it, it is really become a terrain. So if you want to adjust the reflection, you can just right click, convert to prop again, then now it really become a prop, you can adjust the reflections. Just scroll down.
here change to traditional now there will be no more light reflection at there like just now what we call the specular you can just make it zero because this is just a terrain now it is no more weird reflection at there then convert it to the terrain again just convert to terrain now it, it become a terrain again and we try to use the motion director on this avatar I just double click it then choose the motion director a female apply then we try to make this avatar to, to start walking to see this terrain is work or it doesn't work so I click OK OK now where's this avatar Right now I try to move this avatar, you can see this avatar already walk on the terrain and this terrain really can interact with the motion director 3D avatar in Icron 8 and it is quite interactive here Alright, so now I stop it so everything will be okay I back, back to the workplace, a standard workplace here so this is really a terrain and maybe you want to add some water you can just go to the go to the set where is the set to find some water it is here maybe you can just add some river flow then now this this water is too big already the water size you can just make it like 10 and try Try to see how, how big or how small it is Here 50 30 35 Right now 35 Put it 40 Then I make the height to be 0 and try to see and the water size 35 now you can see this is a river flow you can make the height to be lower again like minus 20 now minus 10 and control G to turn off the grid when you try to play you can see now this river is flowing you really created a terrain with some water, river right that's all for today about my tutorial on how to create an interactive realistic terrains with zero cost without spending any of the paid plugin price then you can create your realistic terrain just by using the blender and the blender is a free software and also use the CC0 material pack then you can create realistic terrain for your Icon 8 3D animation software alright that's all for today thank you for watching if you love my videos tutorials and sharing if you feel all these tutorials and sharings are very helpful to your 3D modeling 3D animation and 3D game developing you can subscribe to my YouTube channel and also turn on the mini bell and select or so that when next time I publish a new videos, tutorials or sharing, you receive a notification immediately. See you in my next video. Enjoy! Happy 3D modeling, 3D animation and 3D game developing. See you!